What is up YouTube? Welcome back. It's been a long time. Too long. Uh, took a little step back from YouTube. Kind of wanted to reevaluate some things. Took the summer off a little bit. Um, so I'm back now. I'm vlogging. Got my little vlogging camera. So I'm going to try and give you guys a little quick update. I hate when YouTubers do this. But just kind of catch you up to speed of what's going on. So one reason why I want to bring the vlogs back is because this is my last quarter here at college. I'm going to be graduating in December. Um, but I wanted to show a little bit more the side of me as a student. Um, a couple of people wanted to see a little bit more into my life. So I'm going to try and maybe make one video a week just kind of showing my life. Um, as well as just kind of like encapsulate these last little moments of glory in college. Um, I'm trying to soak it all up as much as I can. So, I don't know if you can see that, but the reason why I'm filming me drinking water is because right now I'm trying to drink about two and a half gallons a day, um, which may seem like a lot, but after you do it for a while, it's not that bad. But I have a photo shoot coming up on Friday, so I'm trying to condition myself a little bit to look good for that photo shoot. Um, look, you wanna look dry, striated, you know, the whole deal. And so the reason why I'm drinking lots of water is the days leading up to the photo shoot, I want to introduce a lot of fluids into my body so that it understands that I'm getting a lot of water. So it automatically flushes it out of my system. Um, and so then on Friday, or Thursday, sorry, the day before the photo shoot, I'm gonna cut my water intake down to pretty much nothing or very little. Um, and so what it'll do is my body will continue to flush fluids out of my system even though I'm not getting that much. And so I'll get that really dry, like striated look so when Friday comes around and I rehydrate just a little bit and carb up, um, I'll get that full but still dry and you know separated look that you want when you're doing any kind of you know photo shoot or show. Um, so I've never done anything this drastic before, but it'll be interesting to see how I do. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Vlog first time. You've been four years. You know, you're on my first couple vlogs ever, dude. I know. I'm just saying for the first time in my life. How's it going? Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? I haven't made a video in a while, but today we're doing a photo shoot with uh, my good friend Cooper over here. Um, dieted down, did a little mini cut, got a little more condition. You know, why not? So, Cooper wanted to work on some modeling, photography. I wanted to build up my portfolio a little bit, so we're doing some stuff today. Um, so far, it's been it's been hard. Like honestly, the workout, the stuff that I've had to do for the shots have been pretty tough. So it's been good, good experience. Having to like hold your body to make it look good and make your face not look like you're on the toilet is difficult. So if you've never tried it, I recommend trying it because it's fun. So we're about to do this. I'll overlay some of the photos that we're doing. So. So flat, I'm losing my pump. Dude. How are you feeling right now, babe? Feeling good. I'm just really lightheaded. Altitude's getting to me.
Oops. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's on video. <laughs> Is it just a prank, bro? It's just a prank. Getting good shots, Coop? Yeah, I am. If I just say so myself. So, just wrap the shoot, guys. I think it went pretty well. My friend Cooper got some really, really good stuff. Um, I'll link his Instagram in the description so you guys should be better. Go follow him, but uh, good stuff overall today. Excited to see the photos when they turn out. So, thanks for watching. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday of the following week. Um, it's about 5.40 in the morning. This is the business building at five in the morning. Completely, completely deserted. I love my school, honestly. Like, it's kind of hard to see, but like we have these nice palm trees in this little courtyard. I've had classes in pretty much every one of these classrooms, um, but this is the business building. Kind of fun to come here when in, there's no one here. But um, the reason why I'm up so early is because I'm on my way to the library right now to uh, study for an exam I have at 10 a.m. Um, for an econ class. And I feel okay on it. There's just some final things I need to review. Um, plus, I just, I've been getting up early lately. Uh, not this early and like out the door, but usually I'll wake up around 5.30, so I'll be awake at this time. And I just like starting my day with, you know, a little bit of reading, a little bit of studying, kind of get the creative juices flowing, because I can't study at night. I don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I wanted to make a little bit more vlogs or videos just kind of showing you inside my life as a student. Um, and so, this is part of the game, baby gotta study because I was out of town all weekend that light just came on it was weird I was out of town all weekend so I pretty much didn't have any time to study um, but the reason I was in Colorado this past weekend um, it wasn't for the photo shoot specifically but that was a big reason um, but my internship from last summer sorry it's gonna get dark here for a second my internship from last summer flew me out to do a video shoot for their nonprofit um, so I went out, did that with my new camera. So I sold my old Canon, got a Sony a65, absolutely loving it so far. So you guys can accept, expect a step up in quality in the coming months. So I'm about to head into the library right now and uh, get some last minute cramming done before 10 a.m. today. It's like end of October and in San Luis Obispo where my college is the weather is usually perfect but um, the last couple days it's been like 90 to 100 um, and most buildings here don't have AC because like you don't need it around here but like it feels like it's 80 degrees inside right now I, I, can't, I can't deal with this on my way to my first class right now just walking across the little quad here <clears throat> got myself a little rice cake you guys didn't know, I'm the rice cake king. I'm the rice cake king. Nobody can challenge my throne. But, great way to just snack on something, fill you up without consuming a lot of calories. I think the Quaker ones, which are what I buy, are like 50 calories with eight grams of carbs, so super good tool if you're dieting. But, um, yeah, gonna go to my first class. I'm actually like an hour late. Um, show face for a little bit, answer some questions, get that participation, and then take my midterm. So, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. So, I just finished my test, um, and my professor, the nice guy that he is, uh, let us see the answers right after we finished so we could check our grade. Um, and I didn't do too well. Uh, it's just one of those classes where the test is designed to kind of screw you. The professor asks super specific questions about like tons of stuff that we like went over, but long story short, I studied a lot, still did bad. 
I'm a horrible test taker. Um, and the worst part is, is like, I had, on two of the problems, if I had just kept my answers the way they were the first time, I would have been fine. But, uh, just stupid. I'm so just pissed at myself. But um, there's nothing I can do about it now. Just gotta focus on the future. But um, I'm about to hit the gym right now, so we are definitely gonna alleviate some of the stress right now in the Church of Iron. So gonna go do that right now. I'm actually gonna bring you guys along with me. Hop into a little commentary. So let's get it. We are back. What is up, YouTube? It's been a while since I've done a commentary. I'm not gonna talk about the workout. It's sped up at two times speed, by the way, but. Um, I just want to talk real quick about what I've been up to with my cutting slash dieting the last couple months. Um, so I've been kind of on this little diet for about two and a half, three months now, and I wasn't doing anything serious. The photo shoot was kind of the main motivation for that, um, and I was happy with my results. I still think that I wanted more time. Um, I was mainly just doing this as a way to test myself because next year I want to compete in men's physique, bodybuilding for sure. And so I just wanted to get a feel for how my body reacted to, you know, going without carbs or increasing water intake and, you know, just getting, getting a feel for <clears throat> all those different factors. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how I did for the least amount, for the small amount of time that I had and the decently a good amount of effort I put in. I wasn't like pushing myself super hard um, just because I didn't see like a huge like motivation. I mean, that's just simple. That's what humans do. Um, you're not gonna work hard unless you're motivated to. So I just I was kind of just feeling it out a little bit, and so I think I'm happy with it. But next year when I do it for sure, because I want to compete, you know, beginning of fall, somewhere late, late, uh, end of summer, something like that. And so I think I want to give myself like four months to diet down. So when I go into my bulk in a couple weeks from now, um, I want to give myself around six, seven, eight months to put on some good size and then you know really go nice and slow and cutting it down so that I can maintain as much muscle as I can when I get down to those lower body fat percentages. But overall really happy with my progress. I think I did hold on to a good amount of my muscle mass considering um, the, my little injury back in April with my shoulder um, and not being able to train chest for like three months. Um, so I'm really happy for this next off season. I think I have a lot of opportunities to really build up my physique and I'm excited for my package that I'll bring next year in 2018. So that's a little, just a little insight into how I'm training right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or direct message me on Instagram. All my information is below in the description. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.